about this Filster Holster. Um, Filster is a company that I'm actually growing to like. Uh, I've been looking for different holsters actually so that I can use one holster for various handguns. This is a TRP, which is a 45. It's a 1911, um, made by Springfield Armory. And this is my Filster holster. This Filster holster is actually light bearing, and it's the X300 light bearing. What you see on the front of it is called the Enigma, and this allows me to run it when I'm wearing shorts or when I'm wearing sweatpants or something like that, so my holster's not gripping onto my pants and making it fall down. I like this system. I approve of this system. There are a few mods that you should run for this system, but it is to each his own. You gotta figure out which way actually runs best for you when i put this in here i like this you turn it upside down it's not folding out it's light bearing it's sticking to that light i can get it out of there my partner here today he actually runs a filster out of the waistband holster filster out of the waistband holster right i just showed you the end waistband i like the out of the waistband number one i like the look i'm a fan of the look you know what i'm saying what do you think about this arson just like you said earlier, uh, in a perfect world, if I could have one holster to run all my guns, that'd be amazing. With holsters like this that are light bearing, meaning that all the retention is on the light and not the gun itself. As long as you don't have some crazy unique gun with a very thick slide, uh, you're gonna be able to run a lot of different weapons on this one holster. You can get it all hooked up with the, the G-Code RTI stuff. And I mean, this is literally how easy it is it comes out you can swap the next one in that's it i like it i see you had the enforce light i see you got the tlr1 light two yep. different guns basically but those two guns should basically fit the same holster um are you having holster finding issues for these guns tlr1 nope and i've noticed that it might take minimum modifications or no modifications at all but so long as you're running a holster made for x300 the tlr1 seems to work okay. it retains and everything my safari lens 69 issues okay the enforce is where the problems come i've yet to find the holster that'll cater to this this is, for the, this is for the x300 and if i'm shooting and i want to run my shadow 2 or whatever gun i want to run you swap X300. out the light that's a filster this is a filster yeah and then for the glocks uh the most uh, arguably the most popular red dot model um safari land 6390 rds and then g-code everything uh so you can swap holsters real quick, right? With these, uh, with these uh, base plates. And then three holes here, three there, male to female. Boom. That's it. We're locked. It's not going I see your classic X300 light on here. Correct. I'm going to ask you something about the X300 that I'm, I'm going to tell you what my opinion is, okay? X300 UA is for polymer frame guns. X300 UB is for steel frame guns. Oh, I mean, that's how it is. That's how they market it. Yeah. Okay, that is how they market yeah, that's it. Fact. I, I've yep. never seen it. This is the UA. I've run this on steel frames, my CZs. The only difference I've noticed, uh, it might be very tight on, on the polymer gun, the way it is on this. But on the steel gun, it might have a little bit of rattle. Did you do anything to stop the rattle? This thing is weird, man. I don't understand it because sometimes I'll have this on a metal gun and it won't rattle. And then sometimes it will. Right. And I've ran that gun before because you might be thinking like, oh, it's not on there correctly. You know, maybe it's not a, I've had no issues. It hasn't come off. It hasn't come loose. It hasn't, nothing.